Topaz has made the best even better. Let's take a look what Topaz Photo Lab AI version 2.0 has to offer. Hi, it's Peter here, and let's get right into the business. Or actually, a disclaimer. I bought this software today, so I have been using it for a few hours, but I have used Topaz Photo AI for a long, long time, and their other software too. So everything that I say is based on my own opinion, and Topaz Lab has nothing to do with this video. I'm just a happy customer, and I want to share the good stuff that Topaz is making with you. However, I do have affiliate links in the description, which I will talk a bit later when I talk about the prices and all that. But let's start with what's new. There is new uh, sharpened standard model version 2, raw models version 2, and then totally new tools. Adjust light enhancements and ba balance color enhancements. And then there is also uh, a improvement in the workflow with Photoshop. There is so-called automatic plugin, and I will show you that after I've talked a bit more about the software. I will show you how that works. It's quite good. And then there are some designs changes and some camera support added. But let's take a look how they work. The basic workflow has not changed except the already mentioned uh, Photoshop plugin. Other than that, the workflow is exactly the same. And also the user interface is all looks the same. There are some design changes, how the sliders look and all that, but that has nothing to do with how it actually works. It's always nice when they do these little tweaks and makes the software look more modern and, and all that, even though I don't even notice those on this particular one. The tools are on the right side, and then you just drag the image to this and autopilot will start its magic. And it will do a pretty good job just out of the box. You can tweak the settings from preferences and there are things that you can change if you want. Play around with these and see how it affects your images and how it is. I've left this for now totally default. I will take a closer look later and, and if there are some things I will make a video about my settings here. But I just left it for default because it seems to work quite well. I have this image that I took last summer in the fortress in front of Helsinki, Suomen Linna. This image is not a very good photograph, but it works very well testing this software because it has blown out highlights, deep shadows, a lot of uh, bokeh or unsharp areas, and then a small area that is sharp. So I can really show how it works on highlights, deep shadows, and blurred faces, and also how it is with when you have a really shallow depth of field, how they rendering the, you know, the trans transformation or the, not transformation, but the, the, the move from sharp image to, to um, the unsharp area, how, how that works. And here's the result with just doing a few tweaks. Always remember that the autopilot is a starting point. It gives you the base image that has done or, or the software has done the basic corrections and usually works pretty well. But on this particular one, I had to turn off the subject uh, sharpening because it was sharpening the faces too much, the unblur faces, and it didn't look natural. And then I also turned on the balancing color enhancement. So it made the image slightly warmer and closer to the original image. As you see, compared to the original, it did a very good job. I'm very happy with the results that this gave me with the little tweaks and always remember that the autopilot is a good starting point. Sometimes it works as it is, but on this particular image I had to do some tweaks, but very minor. So it's really a fast, fast uh, workflow with this software. And before we compare this version to the older version, let's look at the Photoshop plugin and how it works. You go here and to automate and plugins and choose Topaz Photo AI, it will make the adjustment in inside Photo AI and you can tweak it and upscale it and then it will bring it back to Photoshop and it will be on its own layer. So it's non-destructive way of editing the image. And I think this is a really very huge update on this. This makes everything so much better when you have a automated plugging like this. And then let's look how it compares to the previous version. At first glance, the differences are very minimal, if none. But if you look closer, you can see that the rendering of the noise reduction looks a lot more natural in the out-of-focus area, which 
usually is a good thing. And the sharpening also is slightly better, but not that much, but especially the noise reduction in out of focus areas looks a lot more natural. It kind of leaves the autofocus area and doesn't want to sharpen that much the, the autofocus area because I left the sharpening on but turned off the subject sharpening. I didn't test the upscale. I will do that later if, when I have something to, to upscale. This is more about the basic things without the upscale. And then there's the question of is it worth getting? And I think it is. Especially if you already have it, you want to upgrade, you might have a free upgrade or if you bought it a longer time ago, more than a year ago, then you have to up update it with paying or you have to pay for the update is easier way to say it. And it's only 79 euros and I think it's a very good bargain for this software. It's a very good value for money and that's what I did today. And I'm very happy to, to pay 79 euros for software that is this good. But if you don't have it, there is a good deal until September 22nd. You can get 40 euros slash dollars off. So it's only uh, 159. And after that, after September 22nd, it will be 199. I think it's a still with 199, it's a good deal. But if you want to be quick and buy it before September 22nd, you can get it 40 euros slash dollars off. And I do have affiliate links in the description of this video. And so if you want to get this software, be free to use those. It's much appreciated if you support my free content on this channel. And of course, you don't pay any extra. So it's a win-win situation. You get great software and at the same time, you can support my free content. I've made videos about photo AI before. And if you're interested in, you can watch them from there. There are lots of uh, things from the pre previous versions, but of course, the quality is a lot better now, but the basic workflow is about the same. So there is no big change on that. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.